If you are looking to improve your flexibility, especially in the box splits, then this stretch loop is brilliant for that. So to get into the stretch loop, you simply just get any bit of the whole band, it's all exactly the same, and just pop it over your foot this way. Now I've got my booties on, but you can of course have bare feet or you can have your ballet shoes on, it, it doesn't really matter. Then from here, you're going to wrap the band all the way around the back of you. Now the material is quite strong because it needs to be, so don't worry if it feels like it's not going to go, it will. So from here, you then wrap it around the other foot this way. Now. If you have any twists, it doesn't really matter too much, it's just a little bit more uncomfortable. So if you, especially underneath your foot, if you can make sure that they're nice and straight, then it will be more comfortable for you underneath your foot. So from here, you're then going to extend your legs out to the second this way. So you might need to adjust where the band is. You don't want it to be right on your lower back. You want it to just be just a little bit lower, not underneath your bottom, otherwise the band will slip out underneath you. So it's just wrapping around. So it's really in line. You don't want it too high up your back at all. And then from here, you can just push yourself forward a little bit in the second position so you're at your maximum in the box splits. And from here, you just sit and let the band do its thing. So the difference if you're doing your box splits without the band is that you won't be able to keep your legs as wide because obviously the band is stopping the legs coming in. But the nice thing about this is it's actually, it's you that is doing it. So it's very different from having somebody pushing your legs open, which I wouldn't really recommend. You are actually just doing, it's your own flexibility that's getting to the second, and then it's just the band that's stopping you coming in. So it means that you're able to maintain the stretch for a little bit longer compared to not using the band. So for me, I quite like it with flexed feet this way and the band sits quite comfortably just underneath your arch, but you can point your feet as well this way, the band starts to come up a little bit, so you'll probably find it more comfortable if you keep your feet flexed. Now again, for me, I quite like to sit with quite a lot of turnout here because I can feel the stretch, but you can bring them in a little bit, but you will, you'll probably find that the band wants to open out the legs this way, and then you can just sit up nice and tall and let the band do its thing. You can, of course, go forwards a little bit whilst you've got the band on. You will begin to feel that stretch quite a bit more. So it's really up to you how much you want to do. But I quite like to just sit up nice and tall with the band, just opening the legs out to the second for as long as you want, really 30 seconds, a minute. Probably wouldn't do any longer than five minutes at a time. The other thing you need to make sure is that you're really warm before you do this stretch. So you don't want to just do this thing first thing in the morning. I would definitely be doing it after a ballet class or after a dance lesson or after you're nice and warm. Getting out of it is probably more fun than getting into it. So do take your time to get out, especially if you've been sat here for quite a while. I tend to hold on to the band and then just ease my legs in gently, making sure my knees are this side of the band and it can come in at quite a rate. So just be careful bringing, them, uh, bringing the legs in and then you can just come out of it and you're done.